because I'm gonna use this in place of mayonnaise. Hey guys, uh, what's up? It is a Wednesday and I took the day off of work because I've been in my new position now for five months and I felt like it was time to take a break. Plus, I'm in the middle of my real estate class. I took my midterm yesterday. I passed it, yay, whoop whoop. I still got two more weeks of um, classes and then we take our final and then I can move on to take the state exam to get my real estate license. That's kind of what's going on. I am currently wearing my Bio3 Battalion shirts. I got this when I did my second, second competition in 2013 and I felt it was appropriate to wear it today because I want to tell you guys that I have decided to start working with my old trainer. So I went grocery shopping today. I kind of got my plan and everything last week, but with Greg being sick and me preparing for my exam last night, um, it was last week was a very difficult week on me. So things are better this week. We went to the grocery store, I picked up a whole bunch of stuff. We um, picked things up at Walmart. When we're ready to plan them, I want to get them now. Maybe like in a week. But you only need like three of them. Okay. These cost a lot. Yeah. Hopefully they produce. But I mean, they already are. I don't have the thing ready for them yet. Hey, can we plant some of that too in my raised bed? Mm -hmm. Or is that too much? Mm -hmm. well, okay. You just, you just need two of them or so. All right. Can we get some? Yeah, we have to go home. We have to figure exactly where we're going to put them. We have to get all that. And I did a little haul for you guys. Let's see, do they have mug? <gasps> they do. This stuff is amazing. Okay, let's see. By, by July, oh, this will definitely get it by July. So it looks like we're gonna be doing a um, haul when we get home, a Walmart haul. Okay guys, so Greg and I stopped at Walmart. I wanna show you guys what I picked up. I got a big bag of jasmine brown rice just because I can get a really good amount of carbs in on this and not have to eat a whole lot of it. So I got that. And we picked up Baby Red's mashed potatoes because we love this stuff. They're the best. <laughs> Creamy, I mean uh, chicken flavor, noodles. Got a couple of these because I eat them all. So we got a total of four of the Baby Red's potatoes. Greg had to get some ultimate chocolate chunk cookies. I couldn't tell him no, so he got that. He also wanted chocolate fudge and a classic yellow cake, so we got that. Peach chunks. This is chunky salsa, so when I have rice and black beans, I can make in, mix in some salsa and some chicken or ground turkey or whatever I have. I got some sugar-free strawberry and banana gelatin because there was like nothing to it whatsoever, so. And I got some easy lazy packs, sugar-free. My favorite cheese of all time, the Sam's Choice Triple Pepper Jack with Ghost Pepper Cheese. This is great on eggs and Burger. chicken and burgers and anything or by itself. I got bananas because I'm allowed to have them, but I have to whisper because digger. We got grapes back here and apples and I got some Greek yogurt. I got um, two of the, the plain because I'm going to use this in place of mayonnaise. So I'll probably make some um, egg salad or tuna salad and use that instead of mayonnaise. This is cherry, um, key lime pie, and strawberry. And then we've got some shake and bake type stuff. We got four boxes of that. We got two of these extra large eggs, 18 eggs in each container, so we got two of those. And we couldn't pass up the mandarin oranges, so we got two bags of these. And that's our haul. Now I need to sit down with my fitness pal and figure out exactly what I'm gonna eat because I'm allowed to have carbs and fats and protein and eat like a real person, kinda sorta in a way. Um, there are certain things that I'm not allowed to have. There are certain things that I can have. Um, so that's kind of what I'm working through right now, so I'm pretty excited about that. What else do I have going on? Greg and I went for lunch. It's the first time he's really felt like eating. Good job. 
calls a brownie. No smoke though, I expected smoke. <laughs> Good. Well, he's felt like eating for the last couple days, but he hasn't been able to taste anything. So he wanted to go get barbecue, so we did that. We stopped at our favorite barbecue place. And then in a little bit, I think we're gonna head outside and start cleaning the yard and getting the uh, garden prepped. We've got things that are starting to bloom on the trees out back, which is pretty good. And everything is budding over here. And we've got blooms on this one. It's all a good sign. It's apples. More apples. We're getting somewhere. So we've got blooms on the peach tree and the apple trees and the cherry tree and the pear trees and all that. We've got a total of six, seven, eight, eight trees. And I think we're going to get like another four this year. And in another week or two, we're going to start with the raised garden because we're going to have, I want to have um, like artisan lettuce I'd like to grow this year. And also strawberries are going to be in the raised garden. And then I, you know, we'll have the typical um, peppers and tomatoes, of course. And uh, tomatoes and tomatoes. And tomatoes and more tomatoes. Did I mention tomatoes? <laughs> so we're gonna do that. And, oh, we're gonna get grapes, and we also need to get raspberries, and I think Greg wants to do blueberries too. So we're gonna do like a whole berry patch. We already have a lot of wild raspberries that grow in the yard, but you can never have enough raspberries, right? Right. So that's what's going on. I'm getting ready to, Show you guys, I did stop at the uh, post office and I got my Lula Rue pants that um, my girlfriend sent to me a couple days ago. But today's the first time I was able to go, go pick them up. I think they came on Saturday, but I figured I'd just pick them up today. So I did that. I'm going to unbox those. I'll probably have that uploaded. I'll do a haul on my other channel. But I'm going to do that now because I think that when we head outside, I may want to wear a pair of Lula Rue pants because, hey... See, I'm gonna have it down to here. Yeah, to make the ramp. Right there. See where the door closed? Oh, hey. Yeah. So, I'll just have that little bump so wait, so it's gonna be a permanent ramp? Yeah. Oh, okay. But well, I was thinking if I do it six foot, to figure it here, I don't think it'll be too steep right there. No, I think it'll be okay. The difference? That six foot to eight foot? Yeah. 75 bucks. Really? Yikes. It'll be 150 bucks to build expensive. it. Expensive. Hey, Dig, you running off already? Where are you going? You leaving us? Boy, it's hot in here. It's hot outside. Hey, guys. <laughs> What's up? We're outside. We've got the tiller ready to do some stuff. I have my Lula Rue pants on. Whoop, whoop. Sexy. All right. We ready? He's got to put gas in there. And then we're going to feed the trees, right? That's basically what we're doing. We've got to feed the trees, make sure they're happy so that we can get fruit from them this year. And then we're going to get more trees in the next few days. So, yeah, I'm excited. Lots to do. Oh, my God, it's hot out here. Oh, God. 99 out of 100 says it will not start. You have to get service. Oh, don't say that. We don't have time for that. You guys have no idea how happy I am to see this tree, like, doing its thing. Alright. Is this, like, gonna be the moment of truth to see if it starts? Season number two. I mean, every review, not one person said that it actually started in the second season without having... To get it get, serviced? Yeah, you have to get service personnel to come out to do it. Like you are the king! <laughs> you are the king! So 
Greg is still tilling up the garden and we found a big root that I've got to try to move because it's kind of in the way of where we're going to expand the garden. So I need to do that. But in that whole process, guess what I found? I found the bleeding hearts are starting to come back and they're blooming and they're beautiful. This one is pushing his luck too because he's been sick for the last week and a half and he's out here tilling up the garden which we have to get done but still. Gotta get it done. We're gonna have some good food cleaned. this year. I know, lots of tomatoes. Isn't he adorable you guys? Look at him. You're adorable. Let's give me some water. Okay. All day, every day, trying to get Digger to eat, and he won't eat. I'm going to steal your food. Stole your food. Do you want it? I oh, don't want that. Do you want your food? I oh, don't want that. I want it. Give me the food. Give, give me the food. I want it. Oh, give it to me. It's gone. You gonna eat? All right, fine. I'm getting up. I'm leaving. I'm running away from home. He doesn't care. He's unfazed. <laughs> There's a big old spider, and Greg won't get it, even though it's gonna kill us all. And look how big that is. It's a big old black spider. It's got crazy little funky legs. Babe, please go get it. You get him. I can't hit you're behind your chair. Get him. him. I'm short. I have short arms. I have a bad toe. <laughs> That's your I fault. Won. <laughs> give me a um give me a shoe or something. I'll squash his guts on the um wall. Guts on the wall. Well, then you get him. If you don't want guts on the wall, then do it yourself. Ow. So you want guts on the wall? Shh. <laughs> I got him, I got him. Wait, I got him. Wait. Let's get rid of him. Yikes. Okay. He is gone. Who protects you, baby? You, of course. <laughs> oh my god, you guys. So, I want to show you. This is my new journal and really it's kind of like a diary so I'm kind of writing in this and it's just a lined book like it's not that big of a deal but it's really more like a place for me to get personal and I haven't done this since I was like in high school so it's been a really long time and it's overdue and I just want a place that I can speak all my thoughts without worrying about being judged and we're just all on social media and we're on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and all over the place and sometimes you just need a place where you can like bounce things off of without the fear of judgment so that's kind of what this book is for so I'm kind of excited about this I just I think I just really needed that so I started writing in it yesterday um I might write in it tonight, I don't know, but uh, but yeah, so I did that. And then I have this book. This is my social media slash workout slash fitness slash my whole life is going to be right here in this binder. So um, I'm just trying to like get myself organized. I want to get to the point where I'm here in my closet. When I do my videos and when I'm blogging and all that kind of stuff, I just want everything done in here. Right now, my closet is a mess. <laughs> but we'll get there. We'll be fine. So, that's kind of what's going on. I don't know. What do you guys think? 